if I'm feeling lazy, like, bitch, I want to just eat food all day, snuggle up in a bed and watch movies. You know, you if if I don't have that motivation to be like, bitch, okay, you need to you need to get up, you gotta promote, you gotta check messages in your email, you like you gotta be up on it as an entrepreneur. It's you that lazy shit gotta go out the window. Yes, the lazy spirit can come upon all of us. We're human. Hello. But you definitely need motivation, dedication, and risk. Taking risks is really, really big. That's why the corporate world is so, is such the norm. A lot of people is too scared to take risks. You know how scary that is to quit your job and to go and apply for another job and work there and you're stressed because you're like, oh my God, like when I'm going to start, how many hours is I'm going to do, is I'm going to like this job. It comes with a lot of risks. And you got to be a bold person to take risks. Honestly, to be successful in life, you have to take risks. You got to take bold moves. If you're living in a small country town and you know that they don't have no type of opportunities for you and you have a passion for music and you know you have to move to L.A. to pursue that, don't be scared to not move to L.A. to pursue your dreams. You're going to have to have a plan and put that in motion so you can get to L.A. and start your music career. Some people can potentially be leaders, but they just choose to just be workers because of you have to take charge and control everything. Everyone don't want to take responsibility. You got you to gotta take responsibility as an entrepreneur. People just don't want to make choices. They just want to be told with schedule. Oh, you're going to come in Monday through Friday. You're going to work these hours. You're going to work the grill. You're going to stock shelves. And that's simple for them. Only thing they got to do is just show up and work and they get a paycheck. But entrepreneur, you got to do like a lot. The last job I had, I was working at a college. Me and my trans mother was talking like months, a long time before I even quit that job. And I was telling her, like, girl, I'm sick of this work shit. I'm finished to go full time with escorting. And she agreed. And she co-signed basically like, yeah, because that's the same thing that she wanted. She was going to do as well. We just didn't have any dates involved. But I don't know if I, when I told her that, she didn't take me like seriously. So literally, I already had it in my mind frame, quitting the job. I didn't have no date set in, set in stone or nothing. It was one day I was, I had woke up and I'm like, I don't want to go into work. I'm done. I'm retired. And I called her that night. I called my trans mother and I called my biological mother. My trans mother, she had doubted me, you know, sad to say. She probably going to gag when she see this video, but she kind of had, you know, had a little doubt in me about quitting she didn't she didn't take me seriously when I told her and I am really big when I I'm a person of my word when I say I'm going to do something I'm going to I'm going to do it you know eventually so she was like damn you know no call in no two week notice no none of that I'm not putting in none of that shit when I'm done with something I'm done and every job I had I never put a two weeks notice in or nothing when I'm done I'm fucking done I don't give a fuck about none of these motherfucking places that much to put in no two weeks notice. Some of them was pretty cool jobs, no lie. And I possibly could have, but I didn't give a fuck. And I have no regrets. It's almost two years later and my rent is still getting paid. I may be a little late like I am now, but guess what? Them bills get paid, my phone bill get paid, I'm eating nachos and shit every motherfucking day i'm still able to shop here and there keep, keep at least keep myself up to par somewhat so a bitch ain't doing horrible i motherfucking succeeded you know don't ever doubt a real ass bitch don't ever motherfucking doubt me she doubted me this, this goes into context what i was saying don't listen to what people say. You do what the fuck you want to do. You're going to have doubters, naysayers. You're going to have 
even people that support you. Always do what the fuck you want to do, and um, people will get in line. They will get in line. And honestly, my trans mother, she was working in nine to five industry, and now she's not. She's fully done with them as well, and she's doing full time. I just want to say, live your life. Don't be scared. Don't don't be scared of what people going to think of you and what people are going to say because people is going to talk about you no matter what. They talking about sex workers, strippers, only fans. Bitch, if you was working at McDonald's, you're going to be clowned for working at McDonald's. Bitch, you work at McDonald's for a living. Like, you ain't shit, blah, blah. You know, people just going to say all of that. A McDonald's worker. You're going to be looked at as low class as fuck and struggling. It don't really matter what you do. People always going to have something to say. So you might as well do what the fuck you want to do and go ahead and take the risk that you need because you only got one life. And in the end, when you owe, it ain't going to matter. To become an escort, you have to have certain, possess certain qualities. You know, you have to be smart as fuck and catch on to shit quickly. A business mindset, a entrepreneur, a hustler, mentality be bold and take risks because honestly you take risks with a lot of shit that you motherfucking do in life if you want to be an escort then then do it and be the be the fucking best at it all i know is i'm not working for nobody i'm not going to work at nobody motherfucking job i am a queen i am an entrepreneur and i am a businesswoman don't try to push your beliefs up on me because you're working a job and you don't know how the fuck you're going to get up out of it because you don't want to go to work. Shit, nobody want to go to work. And you looking at me like, oh, you you don't have a real job. You just being lazy and blah. You talking all this shit, but you don't even know you wouldn't even last a day in this fucking life. This type of work because everyone can't do it. You can do whatever you put your mind to, but it's not for everybody and everybody can do it. So if you is good with frying the motherfucking burgers, then that's what you need to stick with. And don't judge me for what I do because I'm not judging you for what you do. You can be judged as well. I can do what you do. You can't do it. And to all my babies who's working a corporate job, do your shit and be the best at it. If that's your career, hey, high five to you and do your motherfucking shit. And I still love you. It's not judging nobody. I'm just talking about what I believe and what I will and won't do. My career plans for myself. I am the type of person that, that move in silence. I always have been that way. But my, by me having this um, public platform, I'll talk a little bit about my future plans. I will own a nail salon. I will own a restaurant. And we're just going to grow from there. Nails, we're going to start with nails and we're going to move, expand into the whole cosmetology field. Okay? I'm going to be your nail technician, your lash technician, hell, even a hairstylist. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all this shit. So I want to have my shop, my nail shop, and I want to have nail technicians in there, lash technicians, hairstylists. I want to have the, like, decorated all pretty, have the nail tables and shit, have the dryers and for the hairstylist. I have a whole plan of what, baby, let me secure my future. And whether you, you can support me on my journey or not, you can attempt to judge me, but you don't even know exactly. You know the title of what I do, but you don't know what I do. A lot of misconceptions about being an escort, people think that you're, that is like literally the same as prostitution. 
like oh you're an escort that mean you just get you just lay down and on your back or no 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 that's not what an escort is an escort is a person that charge for her time and offer companionship to gentlemen to make you feel happy and wanted and you know stuff like that it's it can it's more in a you know i guess it can be labeled in a sexual field but it's just not strictly sex what i would call myself is i'm an entertainer that's what i do i entertain and model too i would put myself in a model category and that's something that i'm growing into as well i'm a a dog entertainer Basically, minus what, like, just put all of it into one. I am a adult entertainer and I am happy what I do. No stuff is not, no, everything is not perfect. Nothing is perfect and no business, no job. But I don't hate what I do. I actually like it. Because if I didn't, I, I trust me, I wouldn't be doing it. I am out of harm's way. I don't put myself in harm's way. I don't try to. I try to avoid it at all costs. But yeah, if you want to work somebody's job, um, kudos to you. You can work somebody's job. But I'm a boss ass bitch and I'm a motherfucking queen. Trust me, there is a lot of people that say like, oh my God, I want to do this. I want to do that. Or I want to do what you do. I, I hate going to work. I hate. No, that's not. You don't get into this field because you just hate going to work. You being a lazy ass bitch. And you don't want to get your ass up in the morning or at night and go do them 10 hour shifts. You don't switch. You don't be self employed because of that reason. If you lack responsibility in your field, responsibility is big. And you will fail elsewhere if you can't get your ass up and and work because you know what if you want to be in this business a dark entertainer you're gonna have to work too there is yes you can make some quick money fast but just making a quick 100 200 that's not it you have to keep getting money. You make a couple hundred dollars. It don't just stop there. You have to keep doing that. So this shit takes strength. It takes energy. And it does take dedication. Power the fuck up and be ready to motherfucking work. You need to work whatever the fuck you want to do. If you want to be hell a fucking dope man. Baby you have to put in the work for that too. Because all work for one is not physical. There's different types of jobs. How dare you call someone lazy or telling somebody that's not a real motherfucking job? What is a real job to you? Because a corpor- working for a corporation doesn't mean that you're working a real motherfucking job. Anything you getting paid to motherfucking do, that's your job. And you making your consistent income in, that's a real job. And it's actually kind of crazy that I even had to explain myself in that range. Because no, I don't have to explain myself. I just, I just wanted to make this video and talk about it. What I do is my job is not a career. And if it was a career, then you can mind your motherfucking business. I love you, HD Mafia. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And... I love you. Bye, babies. Nails done by Hazel Dior.